I grew up in a little town down in Southern California called San Pedro. And San Pedro was not the biggest town in the world, you know. We had two trees and a movie, you know. You go to the movie and climb the tree and that's it for the week, you know. <laughs> but living in San Pedro, I went, to, I went to work on the fishing boats when I was about 14 years old in the summertime. But I remember one afternoon, I was about 16 years old, and we, were, we had a full load of fish on board, and we were heading back into Terminal Island, where the fish canneries are there. But I had the afternoon wheel watch, you know, from 12 to 3, and I was up on top of the boat, just sitting up there. And all of a sudden, I saw something off the starboard side, you know, something splash out there. I thought, what is that? So I grabbed the binoculars, you know, zeroed in. Oh, what? I broke it. Oh, a dolphin. Oh, man. I love dolphins. Oh, you know. And I see pretty soon it breaks again, and it's closer to the boat. Oh, it's coming this way. Oh, man. You know. <laughs> and pretty soon, man, it comes, and it's right up in front of the boat. Right. So I beat on the deck. Hey. You know, and the guy comes, hey, come up here, man. So he came up and took the wheel, and I ran down. I'm up on the front of the boat, man. I'm leaning over as far as I can. I want to touch him, you know, hug him, do something, you know. And I can't reach him because it's too far down to the water. So I ran into the galley, and I got a dish towel, tied a big knot in the end of it. And I ran back up on the front of the boat, and I'm leaning out over the front, man. I got a hold of the stay, and I'm out as far as I can. And when the dolphin breaks water right in front of the boat, I took the dish towel with a knot, and hey! <laughs> Gave him a little whack, you know. Hey, well, this old dolphin, he'd never been whacked by a dish towel before. You know? He goes back into the water, so I can see him down there, you know, 15, 20 feet, man, it's crystal clear. Boom, he comes out of the water, man, he's looking back. What is that? Looking at me, man, and boom, back into the water, and then he drops back under the boat and, and comes right up in front of the boat again, right? I, hey, boom, I give him another one. <laughs> well, man, he swims off, you know, oh, I scared him away, man, what a, mm, a bummer. So I went back up on the wheelhouse, and I'm sitting up there with my buddy, and we're talking about dolphins, and how beautiful they are, you know. And while we're talking, here comes about 30 dolphins, man. <laughs> Whoa, I'm back down with my toe. Hey, boom, 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 man. Woo! <laughs> man, I'm knocking dolphins left and right. Boom, and they're all shuffling over each other. Hit me, hit me. You know? Boom, one for you. Oh, two for you. Boom, boom, you know. Uh, hey, I spent about the next 30, 40 minutes just whacking dolphins and screaming. <laughs> it was so much fun, I couldn't believe it. And, and then pretty soon, pretty soon they started to break away, you know, one, two, three at a time. Started heading back from the direction they'd come. And pretty soon there was just one dolphin left, just one. And he stayed with the boat for a long time, you know. And I, you know, they all kind of looked the same to me, but I just kind of felt that, that that was the first one, you know. And he'd gone and got all his friends and came back. Hey, man, I got one over here, follow me. And they all came, you know? <laughs> Hey, man. And he stayed, and then I gave him a final whack with the towel. And, <laughs> and pretty soon he swam off, caught up with his friends and left. But I remember sitting there on the folks of the boat that afternoon, watching them swim away. And you know, something deep, deep down in my heart whispered to me. Did see those dolphins, Barry? I made those dolphins. Just for your pleasure. And you know, I've heard that voice whispering to me, not often, but every once in a while, usually when I'm by myself. And I didn't know it then, but I've come to recognize it as the voice of my Lord calling to me.